Thank you for tuning in to our presentation regarding resource heat maps with ASTA Power Project. My name is Mary Williams. I'm the founder and president of Projects Analytics. We've been Project Controls veterans since 1985. We are an ASTA Power Project partner. We are also an Oracle Primavera partner and a certified Oracle University education provider. We have offices in Houston, Tampa, Santa Monica, and Seattle. We all understand that effective resource management is integral to successfully managing a project. It is essential to have visibility to the allocation status of our project resources. ASTA Power Project includes a powerful feature called a resource heat map. A heat map is a resource usage view that highlights the allocation status of each resource. You can configure the view to highlight whether resources are under allocated as displayed in blue on our slide, fully allocated as displayed in green, or over allocated displayed in red during each day, week, month, or quarter. Let's take a look at some resource management features in ASTA Power Project. I've opened a project that is already resource loaded. The view or layout currently displayed is a typical resource histogram displaying the allocation status of laborers. We can see that the availability or limit for this resource is two laborers as displayed with the red horizontal line. We can also see that we have allocated three laborers during several time periods, and our histogram clearly highlights those time periods of overallocation in red, indicating that we are overallocated by one laborer. Histograms are an excellent tool for reviewing resource allocation status and for highlighting periods of overallocation. I'm going to switch from the histogram view to a different view that's displaying the resource usage view on the bottom layout. We will review how we can configure the resource usage view to display a heat map so that we can easily and quickly determine how effectively we are utilizing our resources. The resource usage view is comprised of three sections. On the left, we find the resource hierarchy where we can select one or more resources to display. As you can see, I've selected one resource, laborers. The middle section, or spreadsheet, displays task information pertaining to each resource assignment. This section is configurable, as we will see shortly. The right-hand section displays the time distributed allocation information. This is the section that we will configure to display heat maps. We will select the Properties button on the left in order to configure the Resource Usage view. We will use the Allocations tab to specify the type of allocation to display. Use the Fields tab to specify the columns and group and sort criteria for the middle section of the Resource Usage view. Use the Scope tab to specify which portion of the project we would like to analyze. We will use the Appearance tab to configure our heat maps. We will use the Heat Map section on the Appearance tab to configure our heat maps. We can base the heat map on effort or allocation. We can select the Effort Radio button to determine whether our laborers are over or under allocated according to the total number of hours for which they are assigned. Remember, we have two available laborers, and if we assume that each can work a maximum 40-hour week, the weekly limit for two laborers would be 80 hours. Notice the colors that designate the allocation status. 
Using the heat map, we can quickly see that our laborers are under allocated as in displayed in blue during the weeks of August 20 through September 10. The laborer is over allocated during the week of September 17 with 96 hours and fully allocated as displayed in green during the week of October 1 with exactly 80 hours. I'd like to bring your attention to the week of September 10. Based upon overall hours, our resource does not display as over allocated as the hours are less than 80 hours. We will now change the setting to base the heat map upon allocations versus effort. Notice that the week of September 10 now displays as over allocated. We select the allocation radio button to determine whether resources are over or under allocated based upon the allocation amounts or number of laborers in each period. I'm going to change the display units to days to illustrate this option. The resource usage view is currently displaying time units in days. When we configure the resource view to display a column for each day, and we have a resource availability of two laborers or 16 hours per day, the resource will appear as under allocated or blue if at some point during that time period, the sum of the allocation values is less than two laborers or 16 hours. This is apparent during the time period of August 24 through September 7. Fully allocated time periods will display as green, denoting that the resource allocations are two laborers or 16 hours. The time period from September 19 through 25 displays as fully allocated. During the week of September 10, there are no allocations at all for September 10 and 11. We can see that our laborers are over allocated or red from September 12 through the 18th. During this time period, three laborers have been assigned, so we are over allocated by one. We can select the Show Tooltip checkbox to specify that a tooltip should be displayed when we hover the mouse over cells in the resource usage view, providing further details of the resource usage information. If I hover over September 12, I can see that the maximum number of laborers assigned on that day is three, compared to an availability of two. To recap this presentation, ASTA Power Project allows users to configure resource usage views to display heat maps in which the background of cells in the resource usage view is colored to indicate whether resources are under allocated, fully allocated, or over allocated. This provides us with a much stronger visual indication of our resources allocation status than a simple resource histogram or resource usage profile. This allows project managers, resource managers, and other stakeholders to quickly and easily manage resources effectively. This concludes our presentation regarding resource usage maps in ASTA Power Project. ASTA has many unique, robust features. If you have further interest, please contact me using the contact info displayed on the slide. Thank you for your interest.